Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are super super well as always. So just a quick note before we get into this video, I am actually filming on my iPhone because I don't have my laptop with me at the moment. So I can't actually film on my normal camera and my normal editing software. So in today's video, you're gonna get an unedited video straight from my iPhone. As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be showing you what we bought in our food haul today. And it's kind of like a pre-lockdown food haul because Boris literally announced yesterday um, about the lockdown and obviously we were already due our monthly shop so we were already planning to go to the shops and do um, like a big shop anyway but it kind of works as a pre-lockdown shop as well so let me start on this side here so here I've just put a bag of spinach this is a huge bag of spinach and I think it's only 2 99 this is actually for my mum but I do also have one in the fridge from about last week that I bought for us and it's literally a massive bag i think it is 500 grams so yeah it takes a while to get through this um but here we've got the hw neville's eight croissants this brand is really really affordable in tesco it's exclusive to tesco as you can see and it's a really really good price i can't remember exactly how much these were i do have the receipts so if you are interested let me know in the comments below and i will definitely get back to you on that um, and then we bought some white cookies from Tesco as well. These are so delicious. Like they're so fresh tasting and they're just white chocolate chip and you get five in a pack. And I like to just have these like with a cup of tea or just for a snack or something like that. And then over here, we've got some custard donuts. Again, I think, how many are supposed to be in here? I think there's four in here, but normally I'm sure there's five. Um, but yeah, these are also just nice as a really quick, easy snack with a cup of tea as well. Um, and then here, I've got a bit of a mishmash actually because some of these things are from a different shop but I will quickly just include them in the haul anyway. Um, this was the pancakes, six Warburton pancakes. I think they're 50p on the club card price so we got two packets of those. Um, so we got 12 pancakes for £1. And here we got... Hmm, I don't know if this is from Tesco. No, I don't think this is from Tesco, guys. Um, okay, I'll quickly talk you through this, what you see here. So these two are actually from a Bangla Cash and Carry. They do sell them in Tesco as well. Uh, but yeah, we just love having these again with a cup of tea or something like that. And then we've got some um, burger buns. These are six in a pack. And these are just for some burgers that we have in the freezer as well. It's really, really quick, easy dinner. Over here, we've got some marshmallows. They're not always halal everywhere you go. So when we do find halal ones, we do like to get them just to kind of snack on them. I know it's totally so bad for you, but I just really like these ones. They're so delicious. Um, and then I saw these and I was like, wow, let me get them. Like, I see like, you know, Sass ASMR um, and Knee Less Eat on YouTube. And they're always eating these nice jellies. Um, so again, these are from the Bangla Cash and Curry. And I just thought, let me buy them so we can just snack on them here and there. So back to Tesco now, we've got some Cocoa Pops, Cocoa Rocks, because my husband really, really likes eating those. And then also we bought some Brioche Rolls. Um, these are just a Tesco own brand and they're just good for a quick, easy breakfast. And then I'll stick with like the breakfasty things. Here we've got the Miss Molly's chocolate chip cereal bars and behind we've just got the white chocolate and strawberry flavor cereal bars this brand is exclusive to tesco as you can see and this is a really cheap brand really affordable but still really delicious so these were literally 61p so it's almost 10p it's basically 10p for um for one bar because there's six in there and they're much more better value than like you know the more branded brands that we know of <laughs> um here i got two packets of milk chocolate peanuts we absolutely love these these are so so delicious like i'm sure you guys know like about these um if you don't know about those then you definitely know about these milk chocolate raisins so these two are literally like one of our favorite snacks it's so quick and so easy and it's a really delicious snack so we've got two packets of those and two packets of these but don't worry we won't be eating them all at once obviously um and then i found this in the freezer no in the fridge aisle and i just thought it looks really really cool so it's a milk chocolate chip cookie dough sweet and crumbly and it's ready to bake so you literally just gotta put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and this is what it looks like so 
it looks just like cookie dough as well and i'm so excited to eat this honestly if this is as nice as it looks and i will definitely buy it more regularly and what it says on the packaging is you literally just chop it up into like sections like this and then spread it out onto like a baking tray and enjoy i guess <laughs> um and then we've got this actimal we've recently been buying this quite a lot actually whenever we pop into tesco this is i believe two pounds on the club card price so it's really really good um if you don't know about the club card price definitely look into that because it's a new thing that tesco have started doing and it just helps save so much money i believe we saved uh, almost nine pounds today just based on club card prices so that's really really good then we picked up this greek style yogurt with a vanilla flavor and it's supposed supposedly thick and velvety um the reason why i got this was because i know greek yogurt is really good for you but it's not really like the most tasty thing in my opinion anyway so because this one came with vanilla i thought it might actually be tasty so i'm going to give that a go and i'll let you guys know how i get on um and then I found this, which I thought was really cool, actually. It's Philadelphia, but it's lacto-free. And I don't know if I'm completely lactose intolerant, but if I do eat too much cheese and dairy, sometimes I do get a little bit of bellyache. So I thought I'd give this a try. It's the exact same price as the rest of them, so why not? Um, and I'm going to try this with some peppers, because I know that there's a thing going around online, a trend where you try peppers and cream cheese. And I'm also going to make some tortilla pizzas with this you know when you get the tortillas and then you put the um toppings on top and whatnot so yeah i'm going to use this because i made it with tomato puree the other day and the tomato puree was really tangy so um it was recommended to me to try it with the cream cheese so that's what i'm got going to use that for um and then here i got some chocolate flavor milk and i don't normally get this because i know it's got a lot of sugar in it but i just thought it's another alternative to milk um and also i've been loving using like whipped cream chocolate syrup sp chocolate sprinkles and stuff like that recently so i just thought if i put all of that on top of this when we have it it's just going to make it into like a really nice milkshake so it will be just more exciting than just having like a plain cup of chocolate flavored milk um so yeah, I got that. Um, and then sticking with the chocolate, I picked up the Stockwell & Co Instant Hot Chocolate. It says you can just add water. I will probably add milk to this, like hot milk. But Stockwell & Co is a really affordable brand in Tesco. I believe this was under a pound. Compared to all the other brands, it's definitely the most affordable. So give that a try if you guys are interested in hot chocolate at an affordable price and this is totally random but um we picked up a nando's perinase mild flavor um because i don't know i don't know why we got that um then we picked up actually this twinings turmeric with orange and star anise tea and the reason why i picked this up guys was because i know that turmeric is supposed to be really really good for you to drink and i know this is not actually pure turmeric in here i mean maybe they say it's 45 percent but, you know, I don't know really. But, like, compared to, like, eating actual turmeric powder in a tea, I'm sure that will be a bit more kind of helpful. I don't know. But I got this one anyway because I don't know if I like the taste of turmeric, like, whether it's in my food or whether it's in my tea or anything. Because this is mixed with orange and star anise, I thought it might actually be a little bit nice. Um, I'm not into these kind of teas, guys, but I need to start drinking more kind of healthier teas i want to get away from caffeine and i want to get away from regular milk teas and i want to start having like this kind of tea because i don't want to drink um anything that's going to be like bad for my body so yeah i'm on this health kind of thing these days which doesn't add up when you see all of these snacks but like i said before this is literally just for once in a while you're in moderation but i want to cut out in my daily life i want to cut out unhealthy things and i want to drink these kind of teas instead of anything else so yeah um this i believe was two pounds or something like that but i will give it a try and i will let you guys know how i get on if you are interested um breathe here we bought the tesco breaded cod this is really really nice guys i actually use this in my air fryer i make it and it's literally so delicious and so easy to cook as well and this i believe is three pounds so you get four fillets for three pounds so that's quite good price um 
here I got some mackerel in hot chilli sauce and I also got two in sweet chilli sauce. Um, this is just really nice for anything really. You can have it with that in like a fry up with some spinach or you can have it in um, just by itself or you can have it with like pasta or something like that. So I just bought a few of those so we can stock up. They're quite expensive actually. These are 80p or 81p each and considering there's no kind of offer if you buy um, a few it's literally just 81p each so that's almost four pounds just for four mackerel things packets whatever these are called so it's kind of pricey but you know i guess fish is kind of expensive wherever you go um this is a bit random but we've got the tesco growers harvest orange juice this is our favorite orange juice and it's so affordable as well this brand is exclusive to tesco and it's a really good brand and we always get the biggest one because we get through this quite often um and we only bought one today because we already have a brand new one in our fridge but normally we would probably buy two of these and then over here we actually just thought we'd stock up on some lucasade we've been really loving lucasade recently like it's just a new thing we don't really buy lucasade like that but recently you i guess do you know what it's the packaging like it just calls out to me so well done lucasade your marketing is clearly working but we got the apple blast because i think this is going to be like apple tangy apple apple and i do love apple flavored drinks and then we've got the pink lemonade because that's really delicious if you've tried it before you'll know and then my husband picked up the orange lucasade i'm not a fan of this at all but i don't know i think it's it's just a regular kind of original lucasade i think so um i guess you can't really go wrong with it um so that's what we bought i believe they're a pound each so that was three pounds again we don't drink fizzy drink like this like that much we've got two lucasades in our fridge already from our last shop but um we literally just like to have it in the fridge just for those days that we do fancy something fizzy um which i don't think is so bad um and then let's quickly move on to the crisp so as you can see we actually stocked up quite a bit on the crisp but what i've just realized is we didn't buy any individual packs so these are like just the big packs so that's a shame because the individual packs are good for like pack lunch and whatnot but i'll just show you quickly what we bought so we bought a packet of sensations thai sweet chili doritos hot we bought bombay mix um this is not crisps but it's a savory indian snack as you can see and this is really really nice and then we bought some chili cheese grills i've not actually had these before but this kind of brand is really delicious anyway so we'll give this a go and then we bought some sweet chili grills so these also look the same but they look like this just a different flavor and then over here we bought the what's it's giants flaming hot i absolutely love these they're so so delicious so i believe they were a pound um and then we bought some pesto cheese balls crunchy and cheesy snacks these are like the closest things that i think we'll get to tangy toms these days i don't think that it's even sold in like these kind of shops anymore which is a shame so yeah hopefully these kind of measure up to that um, and then we bought some sweet popcorn because we both just kind of fancied some popcorn and then we bought some wheat crunchies these are like one of my favorite crisps ever so we did kind of stock up on the crisps quite a lot but that's okay because here we have all our veggies our fresh fruits we are healthy in this house so we'll start off with my apples so they i believe this is pronounced rose rose dean rosadane farms garlic apples um i actually bought a whole bunch of green apples in the last shop and i'm so sick of them now so i was like let me just buy some red apples instead so yeah i'm just gonna get through these like day by day um, and then we bought two packets of these ripe and real ripe and real no ripe and ready ripe and ready bananas because yeah we get through bananas quite quick as well we both eat them so we've got the second pack there and we bought a packet of oranges um or tangerines i think we actually bought two packets of these in our last shop and unfortunately one of them got uh really bad and it was so disgusting like all the juice started coming out of them and they went full and moldy and honestly i looked at it one day and i was like hold on like why are the oranges like this and i believe 
that day we had too many fruits in the fruit basket and when you put too many fruits together i think they they can get bad so yeah and it was left like this by the way because we had bought two packets we took one out of the net and one was still left like this and that was the one that went bad so i think from now on we will always take it out of the net straight away um because when they're kind of cluttered together they i think they get bad as well like that um we bought four lemons um this is just literally like something i think you need to have in the fridge i didn't actually notice that that one's bloody gone bad how annoying anyways we bought four of them because oh, why not and then we bought some sugar snap peas are these sugar snap peas yeah sweet whole pods picked for their size and texture so these are really really nice if you just boil them you literally just have to boil them on the um hob for like five minutes steam them boil them and they're really really good source of just getting in some greens i need to get in some more greens into my diet so just slowly but surely you know with things like this hopefully we can um we got some potatoes this is just a four pack of potatoes and my husband's gonna make aloo chops because we haven't had that in a long while and then oh yeah this was 40p by the way guys so that's really nice um and then we bought some iceberg lettuce because like i mentioned we bought some burger buns for some burgers that we've got in the freezer so we're just going to chuck some lettuce on i did actually want to get the fresh lettuce the like you know the one that comes in like the round kind of shape but my husband said this would just be easier because it's ready cut um because i know this isn't like completely fresh but we just bought it anyway because it's just gonna i feel like this is just gonna last a little bit longer but i'm not actually sure so yeah we'll just put that to the side <laughs> um and then here we bought the Tesco Finest Grapes. Guys, if you've tried these before, you'll know that they're really, really delicious. They actually taste so much nicer than the original grapes um, that Tesco sell. These have got a much nicer taste, and that is why they're a little bit more expensive. Obviously, they're £2, but we just like we're happy to pay two pounds for them because the taste is really really nice much much more nicer than the original grapes so i'm just going to put those over there um oh yeah and then we've got two cucumbers because we literally get food cucumber all the time now like we just try to eat it whenever we can even as a snack and then we've got two packets of mozzarella cheese because these are two for three pounds then we've got a pack of the turkey rashers from najma foods because we like having these with our full english breakfasts and then we've got a packet of the chicken sausages um, and they're smoked these are really nice guys like you can have them as a snack you can have them with your breakfast you can literally have them in like pasta noodles anything you want is really really delicious so yeah here this is where all the bloody junk comes out so these i believe these are 70p so we just picked them up raspberry and cream viennese um biscuits because these are so delicious this was i'm not sure how much but pink panther wafers these are just like a original like throwback back in the day kind of biscuit <laughs> um i picked up some kit kat i'm pretty sure it said nine bars in the shop but maybe not i must have picked up the eight bars one and oh my absolute goodness all right guys remember no edits in this video so that's probably cracked let's just move on from that right we bought some nutty nougat caramel um kind of chocolate bars these are just like snickers guys like they're literally under a pound so you don't even pay that much there's six in a pack but bearing in mind they are quite small like if i put my fingers there then you can see like it's like the size of my finger um so like each bar is quite small so don't think wow like there's six like it's so good value if you put two of these bars together then you'd probably get um like a normal snickers size bar maybe i don't know so really you get like three but anyways i'm just shivering on now these are really good um really delicious and a uh, really good value for money if you like snickers but don't want to necessarily buy the actual snickers um these were 20p i literally have no idea they're the fox's bourbon creams i literally got no clue why the date is pretty long so i don't know why these were 20p um but there you go we bought those for 20p just because they were literally 20p this if you've been watching my food hauls before then you would know exactly what this is this is again miss molly's exclusive to tesco's and it's a jumbo strawberry and vanilla swiss roll and this is so delicious guys i just really, really like it and it's literally so cheap as well and then this is the same thing but it's in chocolate and then here we got like a mixed pack of 
you know those um variety packs of biscuits that you can get so we've got some nice biscuits some bourbon some custard creams and some malted milk we bought this um in our last shop as well and we've actually still got the malted milk left my husband hasn't eaten them yet but these are again a really good price for what they are um i'm not sure what the price is because i don't have the receipt on me right now but if you do want to know oh my god if you do want to know then just let me know if you guys were wondering why i gasped the light was reflecting on this cheese and i thought this was a mold and i was literally like did you just buy more of the cheese but it's not mold so make sure when you guys get this guys you always check like the bottom of the pack and the back of the pack just to make sure there isn't any moldy cheese in there because i don't expect you know i don't expect this like sometimes you just gotta expect the the worst um but yeah this is literally everything we bought guys except we did actually buy a few freezer items as well but i've put them away already only because they are totally defrosting so we bought some mozzarella sticks in fact let me just show you so we bought these they are so delicious 12 mozzarella sticks and they're so easy to cook and we literally bought two packets of those and all you've got to do is if you've got an air fryer just bong it in here for like five minutes or just bong it in your oven for like five minutes and they're so so delicious again they are under a pound so really really affordable but this is basically what what we buy on our average kind of monthly shop but recently we've noticed this has been lasting us about six weeks so really really happy with that um we're totally more than happy if this lasts us longer than a month so normally on average this lasts us about six weeks and that's why we kind of go a bit ham if you like um for those of you that don't know what that means we kind of go in a little bit um like a bit extra so like we'll buy two packets of these rather than just one and just stuff like that and we'll stock up so it lasts us that little bit longer um we also actually picked up these fromage frays which i'm going to show you now so these are from tesco and they're actually the creamfields brand this brand i've mentioned it on my channel before in my last haul um they are really really affordable and this i believe was literally like definitely under like one pound fifty i think it was like 70p guys um and look at how many you get you literally get 12 packets of this for like 70p and some of you might say if it's so cheap then the quality is not going to be good but like the ingredients are there and it's absolutely fine like there's nothing crazy in these um so yeah i really love this brand it's really really affordable and obviously the date is quite long as well 22nd of november so yeah that's literally everything that we bought guys it's quite a lot i know and lots and lots of junk as well but hey ho you know i think uh, once in a while if you eat it in moderation then it's fine this kind of breakfast stuff it doesn't last us an entire month like there's only eight croissants in there plus the date on the kind of bakery and stuff like that finishes much sooner so we tend to do this we tend to top up these kind of bits every two weeks but other than that everything else hopefully should last us four to six weeks and maybe in the next um, monthly shop i will update you guys and do another haul um if you guys do like these videos i think you seem to find these videos interesting um so yeah if you do want to see more of these videos then be sure to let me know in the comments below and thank you so so much for watching